You know, value means getting the most amount of something for your money. And to Bayliner, it's pretty much a company philosophy. So in this profile, we'll take a look at a boat that suits this to the T. It's the Bayliner 195 Flight Series. Sporty, stylish, and just downright stunning, the Bayliner 195 is a prime example of how far this brand has come. Their core values have stayed the same, and that's getting families out on the water at an affordable price. The new lineup of Bayliners are head-turning and will have people on the lake saying, is that a Bayliner? At 19 feet with a beam that's an inch under 8 feet, you get a substantial footprint to work with and plenty of seating options. The beam is carried through well into the bow, which not only creates more space for seating, but more storage as well. You know, something that Bayliner prides themselves in these boats is the amount of storage they have that's not only standard, but the optional storage you can get as well. What they've done for 2012 is added this track system and you can add these storage bags in. They simply clip in and can slide fore and aft. It's not a matter of what you put into them, it's the fact that you can. There's more storage in the midship locker, as you'd expect, along with under the aft bench seat, all adding up what Bayliner brags as best in stow. The engine hatch lifts on gas-assisted struts to reveal the 4.3-liter Mercruiser MPI. The 195 comes standard with the carbureted version, but the MPI gets you 30 extra horses. You know, one thing I always liked about Bayliners is how easy they are to own and operate. You know, what they do is they give you this extended transom area. So, what you also then get, thanks to these three cushions, is an extra large walkway to the swim platform. With the extended swim platform, you've got a ton of space back here. And a really cool feature are these flip-up seats. So you can spend the day back here and be comfortable. The extended swim platform on this 195 is part of the flight package upgrade. This gets you a gorgeous swept forward monster tower, fresh hull graphics, along with the preferred package upgrades as well. This is certainly one tricked out 195, but the beauty of a Bayliner is you can add on all these options and still be much less than the other guy. But for all the options this boat has, I would have liked to see an armrest for the throttle. One thing I immediately like about the 195 is the amount of space here in the cockpit. I mean, we got a good look at it back at the dock, but it really doesn't take effect until you're at the helm heading out onto the water. Thanks to this extra beam, we still have room for at least four adults, and you see there's plenty of room behind so they won't be hitting their knees against my seat. It certainly feels much bigger than a 19 and a half foot boat. With the 4.3 MPI, that's pretty much the staple engine for the 19 to 23 foot boat. And it's a great package of this size. When you combine that with the flight tower, you have an awesome water sports boat. I'm looking back at the wake here at wakeboarding speeds, and it's nice and clean. It's got no whitewash with a smooth, mellow transition. This is actually a really great beginner wakeboarding boat too. And what's cool about this boat is Bayliners not only are easy to own, but they're just really easy to drive. It's a, a, a hull that you can't get in trouble with. You know, it responds positively to steering and trim controls. You can crank the wheel in a nice controlled hard turn, and the boat responds positively. The drive stays hooked up. It's a boat that you can have a lot of fun with. I think this 195 has a great spot in the Bayliner lineup. It's a versatile boat, and when you add in the flight package, you up the water sports level that much more, which makes the boat that much more fun. Because Bayliner has it right, it's so worth it.